We survive a Texas tornado. Pisces peeps. Hey guys, what's going on? We are at our new home for the week. We are in San Antonio at the Thousand Trails and we're up in the mountains on a lake. You can see the gorgeous view see back there and it's really cool. It's so quiet and look at look if you can see I don't know if you can see and we're gonna go get some pictures over there. There's all these deer that just like wander through the campground. So the reviews on this this campsite weren't so great. I mean, well, I, let me take that back. The last two reviews, which were done probably within the last month or so. Yeah. Um, but you know, coming up the road to get here, <laughs> that was that was something in itself. That was windy, windy yeah. roads. I felt like we were in Puerto so, Rico. Yeah, just coming was... up the road in that rig is, is was a task. Yes. Um, but so far the campground is not that bad. I no, mean, no. no, it's it's not the best but it's not as bad as what we were reading in some of the reviews. I mean, the reviews were saying that like all the boxes were red box and um, they, the grounds were unkept and the bathrooms were filthy. Which to be fair, there are quite a few yeah, I mean, red there's, boxes. Yeah, there's a lot that, of red boxes, but I mean, still, I mean. And they do have notifications all over the place that they are renovating, they're trying to get right. things. So they are, yeah, they're renovating this, this camping ground. So, I mean, but remember, it's camping. So, I mean, you gotta, if you want a five star, Kind of thing then you got to go stay at the you know the mirage or something but um <laughs> you know this is camping so yeah it is what it is it's nice and quiet yeah so we're gonna go for a walk and find out what we can get into and you're coming along so let's go yep is this not crazy look at all the pretty deer they're just hanging out over here in the meadow eating and they got water and then look at this picturesque view that we have I mean, come on. Well, this is where the sun rises, probably. This is gorgeous. Here, probably. Yeah. Yep, this is to the east, so we'll see the sunrise in the morning over here on our walks. And then it just wraps around over here, the mountains in the background. And then we're right over there by the sunset. If I'm not mistaken, that's a coffin right there. What the heck? Wow. I found a coffin in the barn. They scare for a second. But still, I don't know. Saw that casket. I didn't even show you the old house over here that was the bathhouse that's closed. 
that looked like it had blood handprints on the windows. And guys, we're in April, so it's not Halloween. So we got woken up this morning by a tornado warning in effect. And look, everybody's huddled out here by the window because it got pretty severe here as far as winds and the rain and the thunder goes. And it sounds like we've got some hail. Well, not now, but it sounded like a few minutes ago there was hail outside. So yeah, we're just keeping an eye on it. But what do you do when you're up on a mountain right next to a lake? Yeah. Well, yeah, so we were corrected by the lady at the post office. We're not on a mountain. She says it's a hill. She's from the Rocky Mountains. She says this is only a hill. But for us uh, Florida Flatlanders, it was a mountain. But yeah, what do you do when you're up on the top of a hill slash what you think is a mountain right next to a lake and you get a tornado warning? All right, so the majority of the storm is over, but we're gonna go see if we can find our floats and table and assess the damage. But look at all the water that's piled up here. And we'll walk down to the water in a few minutes and see how high up it came. Let's see. But look at this, yeah, wow. We've got Luckily, the guys had the, our rug put under the picnic table so that we didn't have to worry about any gusts of wind or anything. Our trash can's blown over. Yep, there's our bikes. They covered them up last night just in case it rained so that they wouldn't get rusty, but uh, we didn't account for tornado warnings. Wow. Let's see, we've got one float here. Oh, I see. There's my table. And all the way over there, if you could see right there, is my other float. We survived a Texas tornado warning. So it is our last day in Thousand Trails in Lake, Hill, Lake Hills, Texas. And the guys are being kind of lazy. They're having a lazy, lazy day. So I decided to take Simba for a walk. I gotta say, I'm gonna miss coming out for my walks and just seeing this. Just, just all of the, the deers throughout the park, just running free, paying no mind to anybody. It's really nice. I, I definitely like this park and I know that we would end up coming back to it. Um, yeah, so if you are a wildlife lover, it's really a cool, cool little RV park to come out to. Come on, Simba. You don't touch my ball. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you were supposed to do, Dodo. <laughs> this Thousand Trails RV park is located on Lake Medina in Lake Hills, Texas. It is a great RV or campsite for anyone who loves the water. They have a boat ramp for boats and jet skis, as well as each of the lots are um, spaced out pretty well, and most of them are in wooded areas. They offer full hookups, except for uh, they do not have sewer at the moment, but they do offer a dump site uh, on site. Hey everybody. Hey there, my traveling Pisces peeps. It's our last night here. The last night. Our last sunset, this gorgeous sunset over the lake. Yeah. So if you haven't checked out any of our 
more recent videos. We are at the Thousand Trails uh, Campground in Lake Medina, and it's in Lake Hills, Texas. Yeah, so it's about an hour or so northwest of San Antonio. Yeah. So we're gonna miss this little place. It was nice. Yes. Um, we were a little skeptical at first because the reviews weren't so great. Yeah. Um, but when we got here, it wasn't so bad. No, we really enjoyed ourselves. Um, okay, so worst part, what do you think? The worst part to me that the pool wasn't working. And the worst part for me was the drive up. Yeah, that was kind of it was it was kind of scary, kind of nerve wracking, you know, from being in Florida for so long. The, the from what we were told, it's just a hill. These are hills, but they're more like mountains. Feels to like me. a mountain. Yes, and so. I mean I've been to mountains, so yeah. Um, yeah. And it, it was a little nerve wracking getting getting a house up, you know, as as much tonnage as we were carrying. Um, but yeah, I mean the pool too. Yeah. Uh, this has the, this campground has really great potential. I mean it's it's gorgeous up here, and the lots are spaced out, which is really nice. Nice, but yeah, I mean it. Yeah. It needs a little bit of TLC. Just I think. a little bit, not yeah. much. I mean, just yeah. little things, that, little things that it can do to kind of really make it really, really nice. So. Yeah. Best part of it. Oh wow, you put me on the spot. <laughs> um, I, I always put you on the spot. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> there was so many good things. I don't know. I don't know. What about you? Other than the the breathtaking views, because I've really enjoyed that. You know, being out here on the water and just having it right in front of us. I, I have to say it's the deer. Yeah. I, I'm glad I love... we made it through the tornado. Yeah, and I was just I was just reading. There there were um a couple of, of deaths in yeah. both Texas and Mississippi from the bad weather that came through, um, and the tornadoes, which is pretty sad. I mean I'm I'm glad that we were lucky enough not to have to have a tornado come right through us or yeah, the, it was or the a little scary or the floods which we were you know kind of scared about as well because you know we were right here on the the lake and we were woken up by the hurricane the or the not hurricane the tornado warnings um which we're doing a separate video for that but yeah i mean that was that was kind of scary why are you looking down there because I, I got a i got a bug on me not a mosquito oh. that's that's the one good thing though i meant to tell everybody is that we've not had any issues with mosquitoes even though we're right here on the water we, couple fire ant incidents here yeah i stepped in some fire ants which i kept warning him about but needless to say i wasn't watching where i was walking and yeah. boy they lit my toes up yeah, so you just jump in the water and you take it off of you yeah exactly yeah. Exactly. All right, guys. So next stop is um, not really sure what next stop is. I know we're gonna head up towards. We're we're headed northwest towards Roswell, New Mexico. That's our our next main stop. But we've got a couple of uh stops right, here. Little and there, adventures so. in between there. So stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. Um, make sure you subscribe so that way you can be alerted to where we are every yes. time we put out a new video. Yes. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. All right. So. We're gonna head and close this video out and enjoy the rest of the last enjoy the rest of the night here. and we'll I'll talk to you, you soon. soon. Ciao right. for now. Ciao for now. Are you Simba? Simba, are you excited? We're moving the house again? Huh? You get a new view? You're excited, aren't you? We are on the road again. Going for a drive? Huh? Are we going for a ride? Yeah, we're going for a ride. You like going for a ride, don't you? Tell all your fans how you like to go for a ride. You do, don't you? Yeah.